Do you ever have the moment that you're on your way and suddenly you find a little apple? Well, not one, not two, but three complete Power Mac G5s. If you will look at the entire. I'm glad my desk actually holds it. I mean, those things are heavy like hell. But they all work, so... Yay! Free! That's always good. This one is actually the fastest. It's 2.3 gigahertz, 7 gigabytes of memory, and 1 terabyte of hard disk inside. Awesome. Beautiful. Beautiful cases. But it was quite a challenge to install this one because the previous owner emptied all the hard disks inside. And of course, he gave a lot of software with it. I, mean, I work, uh, I don't know what it is, but software, stickers, Microsoft Office. And only one CD, which is not even here anymore. Um, that CD was actually for the oldest, well, the slowest one, the 1 1.8 gigahertz one. Um, it's probably, I can't tell. Um, but that one uh, had macOS 10.4 on it, on the disk, and it was the only one. Uh, able to boot from that disk uh, the other ones just didn't boot so I found some old uh, some old disks but they are all you know you can see it here they're all for MacBooks but it is the correct version though so what I tried was to install it uh, using a USB stick and I think you might find that interesting how you can actually boot these things from a USB stick because if you put them in and you turn them on it won't do anything. Um, so I'm going to pick one of these two, probably the slowest, and or not I'll see. And I'll uh, show you how uh, I'll show you guys how to boot from USB stick on a Power Mac G5. Alright, I connected the 2 GHz one, um, as you can see, well, you can't see it here, but this one has a hole in here and USB 2.0 uh, connections over there, or PCI slot. Um, it's connected and there's nothing in the CD drive. Uh, this is the monitor, it's actually an Apple monitor, so I needed to have this thing. Because this is a ADC connector or something. Um, so I'm going to boot it up and uh, I'll show you that there's nothing in. Alright, first power on. There we go. As you can see, nothing in there, no CD whatsoever. So I'm going to put the USB stick in which is just a normal SanDisk USB stick. Put it in the front one. There we go. I'll turn off the machine. And I press Command Option OF to enter the open firmware boot. There we go. Alright, I'm inside open firmware at this moment and I hope you guys can see it from here. Um, uh, let me zoom a little bit in, but first command I'm going to do is Dev Elias. This will show all devices on this machine. Um, now I'm going to zoom a little bit or at least try to. As you can see, there is a 
little device called UD. There we go. And there's a little device called UD right around here. Um, that's the USB device. So we say we want to build from that device. There's a command for that. I'll type it in right now. Boot UD colon one comma slash slash colon TBXY. This should boot from USB stick. So if I press enter now, it fails. I probably made a typo somewhere. Let me check. All right, I did make a typo in there. Um, the correct command is boot UD colon three, because I don't know, but it's three in this one, comma, backslash, backslash, colon, TBXY. And if I press enter right now, you'll see it boots up macOS. Finally, and let me zoom out a little bit. This is from USB. And there we go. Let's do English for the sake of English. There you go. And as you can see right here, it's a Power Mac 7.3. 2 gigahertz, 4 gigabytes of memory, serial auto disk, 280 gigabytes, completely filled, nice. 80i video card, 80. And as you can see, Serial Ata, it's a nice machine, no airports, probably no Bluetooth either, no. can't see it right now, but I don't care, I can actually install it, here we go, the rest you've probably seen already a few times, so I won't bore you with that. Thanks for watching and well see you next time.